I'm going to show you very quickly how uh, you can use Revit structure program and hopefully uh, why it is important for our students to learn it. Uh, this is the new file opened and uh, I'm just going to quickly create a 3D model of a very simple building. <clears throat> Originally uh, there are two levels in a file and in a drawing and if I click on elevations north uh, these are the two levels that already exist uh, so I can rename the first one to ground floor and the second one to floor one And uh, then I can create some more floors or more levels by picking the existing ones and setting the offset maybe to 3.5 meters. That's probably enough. And I'll just rename the fourth floor to roof. I can put also the foundation level at the bottom. Um, now, if I go to the, these plans are created. This is a project browser where all the views are shown. So if I go to the floor one plan, you know, create some grids and uh, start by drawing the one here and then using this one with the offset of maybe 5 meters create another then change it maybe to 6 and the 6 and back to 5 and in the other direction um, I'll just rename this to A And then add some more grids. Maybe offset six thousand. Just to maybe enough. Now I can edit the display of the grid to show on both ends the button. And the same grids will appear on all floor views. In elevation it looks like this. So I need to stretch these a bit. And in the south, south looks alright. East. Right, so now we can start to put some structural elements. I should change it a bit more. So. Stretch it a bit more. And uh, I'll start from floor one. Uh, I'll put some columns so we can go to the structure, structural column, and in here there is this type selected, but we can change it to any any columns section here, structural columns 
USD and perhaps change to USC and change to this one and all these dimensions are given area comments manufacturer can be added description can be added okay uh, now to create them if I click at grids I can quickly put columns at all the grids and finish. Um, I haven't specified the height um, but I can do it now if I select columns and select all of them I can change the, ba the top level to roof and now I can view it so the and the, uh, the bottom level should be ground floor. Fine. Now I can um, finish placing columns. You can see them in 3D as well. And I can now start with the beams, but first in the in the floor one plan. Uh, choose the beam section uh, again I can edit the type to um, structural framing uh, steel UB UB and I'll choose that's a big one. Maybe I'll maybe I'll choose this one. Uh, apply, but I also load a smaller one. the secondary beams okay so now both of these should appear and I'll choose this type to put the beams again I can put them quickly on the grids oops sorry we have I haven't selected all the grids that's it and the tags are already showing because tag on placement option is selected and I can finish uh, now I can um, look at them in the 3d view so these are the beams the, the connections are not shown yet now I'm going to uh, add some secondary beams in between and I'll use this beam systems select a smaller section and maybe select the maximum spacing 1500 can choose the direction put them in this direction uh, I don't want tags so I'll just um, That's it, and finish. I uh, can remove this tag. So this is now in our three D view, showing the primary and the secondary beams, and now. 
Uh, we just need to copy them to the other floors. So uh, if I select them, make sure I select just the framing, and then copy and oops. two, three, and roof. And then after this we can add we can add floors, bracing, roof trusses, foundations, concrete columns very very quickly as well. Thank you.